Hey guys, welcome back. This is your girl Pinky. Today I'm gonna to be doing Queen Sugar episode five by any chance. Between Anvala, Charlie, and Nova were just beautiful. I love it. Oh my goodness. And her talking about Hollywood being big. I was like, ew, I don't want to hear, but my auntie, her uh, boyfriend thing is like giant or whatever, you know? So it was kind of gross. But it was just beautiful. I love that scene. You know? I'm just waiting for Remy and Charlie to kind of hook up. That's all I'm waiting for because I know that going to take place. Either he's going to come on to her or it's going to be mutual. It's just going to happen, you know. I don't know, but I'm just waiting for that. Ralph Angel, I mean, I don't understand you anymore. First of all, you just came from jail. We got that. You're trying to fix your life. We got that. You have a son that needs need you. We got that. You try you 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 try your very possible best and you got a job. We got that. Uh uh, you cannot blame your problems on people. Let's get that straight. The world don't owe you anything. All you have to do is do right and try to take care of your son because we know you love your son so much and you would do anything for him, you know? So my thing is try to do right. Try to do right. Because first of all, they gave you an assignment, you messed. I am not satisfied with you right now. You know, it's just your cuteness that is kind of saving you right now because that's that's that, that's all I see. Like, every time they show you, I just see the point that you are cute. You're fine, dark skin man. That's all. Other than that, you're just pissing me off. I'm sorry. I love you, but I'm your story now is like it's play out. Nobody owe you nothing. If you don't want to, you know, see it by yourself. You can't blame nobody for your problems. Charlie, you know I love you, right? But baby, that girl won three million dollars. Are you really think she gonna forget all about that? You know what she said. It was kind of like interesting. Can he on? Can my uh, can my rib be undone or can he on rip me? The thing is, if you are a stripper and you come to a party, or if you're a call girl or whatever, I shouldn't say stripper. If you're a call girl and you come to a party, they assuming that you about to get down. Drunk or not drunk, they assume you' about to get them. So if you were drunk and they had sex with you and paid, left money for you, should I really call that rip, or should I call it bad business? I don't understand. Are you saying he ripped you because he's a basketball player, or are you saying he ripped you because another man ripped me? What is, I mean, what is, what are you trying to gain? Because personally, I don't believe it. And personally, I believe it. I'm kind of contradicting myself. I know that. But at the same time, rip is not a good thing. You not support, when a woman said no, she said no. If she does not give you any permission to touch her, she don't give it to you. Don't take advantage of it. So this case is very tight. You know, everybody is like mad at on Charlie that, you know, she's fighting for her man and her man raped this girl. I'm saying is, you a call girl. And you came to a party. They call you. You came to the party. You got drunk. Basically, I mean, come on. They are men. Do you really think they know how to hold themselves? So basically, it's you telling them, okay, it's okay. I mean... Although you didn't give your concern, you know what? It's just too difficult. He should not rape her. That's all I have to say about that. Charity is doing the right thing like any other wife would do. I mean, she's his business partner. She's looking at the business aspect of it. And also, the embarrassment is going to cause her and her son or her family, you know, because her sister, her brother, all of them will be involved in this. It's going to drag all of them in it. So she's trying to make it quiet, hush, hush as possible as she can. And she's doing the right thing. 
I don't know what you guys think. Tell me, leave a comment. Tell me what you guys think, you know. And also, Charlie, I know you know the business, but when it comes to farming business, it's totally different. So you really have to talk to people because I'm looking at it like you screwed up just as Rob Angel. What's the difference? You know, so I'm looking at things like you need to talk to Remy and the old, the older guy and make sure they give you advice on how to run a farm. Just don't make decision and you feel like, okay, this is the best one. And this is the one that's going to, you know, help me. No, it doesn't work like that in the farm world. You got to find the professionals and you have the professional, but because you were being you put that business cap on and you're trying to compete, you're going to hurt yourself and you hurt everybody around you. And now Ralph Indra is pissed at you and he don't know what to do with himself, you know. Nova, I don't know what I'm thinking of you right now. The part that you are fighting for justice, justice and equality, I'm all for that. But, um... You know, someone tweeted out that you are contradicting yourself because you fighting for the black, you fighting for black uh, or life matters and you screwing the white man. So I'm saying to myself, you cannot choose who, who you love. If that's who you love, that's who you love. You know, you cannot choose that. But at the same time, again, this is a difficult situation because Kel... Kelvin is right on the other hand, but he's not right on the other hand. He cannot tell you to stop or whatsoever. So it's very difficult, you know. It's, it's very it's, this is this is very sensitive to talk about. It's very sensitive. So I'm just gonna leave it alone, you know. It's very, very sensitive. And also, girl, you broke up with Kelvin. If I were you, I would stop selling those dope. You know he's gonna come for you. Mm-hmm. I'm just saying, and Paul McCart as once more, he's very stressed, he's very, well, I just feel sorry for that poor baby, you know, he going through so much, and I hope he opened up to the therap uh, uh, therapist, and that he will be able to go past some things, I know it's very hard, you cannot just forget everything that is going on, it will take time, no, you guys didn't. Maxine Shaw is on Queen Sugar. Are you freaking kidding me? AKA Erica Alexandra. I am loving it. And she playing a bipolar person. She was already crazy in Living Singer. And now you got her up in this show being more crazy. I mean, can this get any better? Hollywood, I know you're trying to do the right thing. And that's your... Wait, still your wife. Y'all are just separated. So basically and technically, you're still married, Hollywood. Hmm. I'm glad I ain't gonna be pleased with this whole situation, boy. You better come clean. Because and I'm violent. Thank God you didn't kill that people's son because you about to rip him off like really kind of like squeezing like a lemon on the real. That's how mad you were. But thank God you didn't do that. And I am loving this show as always. If you're not watching Queen Sugar, make sure you tune in every Wednesday, 9, 10 Central on OOM. Trust me, you will love this show. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And also, make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is your girl, Pinky. Peace out.